Hello and welcome to Lovely English Stories. Thank you for stopping by. This story is written for intermediate English learners. Ready? Let's get started. B1, B2 English Story Snow Memories Rebecca woke up and lazed in bed. She checked her clock. It was 9 a.m. She had finally managed to sleep in. This was a rare occurrence for Rebecca. She was usually an early bird. She could hear her parents moving about the house and she could smell bacon. She smiled. Her mum was making her favourite breakfast. Rebecca sat up in bed and stretched. She peeped through her curtains and couldn't believe her eyes. Her garden was covered in a blanket of snow. She hadn't seen this much snow in years. Suddenly, she had a lot more energy. She bounced out of bed, put on her dressing gown and big socks and ran down the stairs so fast that she almost stumbled. Once at the bottom, she opened the front door and a freezing blast of air hit her rosy cheeks. Millions of tiny snowflakes were floating from the sky. She tried to catch them. Then she realised she had no shoes on and ran back into the house. Rebecca went into the kitchen where she swapped her now wet socks for her slippers. Her mum was by the cooker as her dad was feeding her little sister at the table. Sometimes, on Sundays in the winter, Rebecca's mum makes pancakes. It's always a sign that they're going to have a relaxing day at home watching films and eating comfort food. What better day to do it than when it's a snow day? Rebecca said good morning to her little sister Nessa and made herself a cup of tea. She spoke to her parents about the snow and they decided that after breakfast they would get wrapped up and go out into their garden and build a snowman. Rebecca and her family lived in a semi-rural area, meaning when it snowed, it really snowed. After their breakfast of orange juice, toast, pancakes, bacon and lots of tea, they all went upstairs and got ready for the day. Rebecca was excited to show Nessa the snow. She had never seen it before. When Rebecca was a toddler, she hated the snow. So she was intrigued to see if Nessa would be the same. Rebecca put on a pair of leggings, jeans, two pairs of socks, a thermal top and a big jumper. She then went downstairs and put on her puffer jacket, gloves and a big woolly hat. Her mum, dad and Nessa were also wrapped up in layers of warm clothes. Nessa looked a little apprehensive when they opened the door and guided her into the garden. She was walking now 
and was figuring out what this strange white stuff was all over everything. She touched it and then tasted it. She looked confused but happy. They walked to the end of their garden and listened to the snow crunching under their feet. Then they got their shovels out of the shed and began to make their snowman. They decided to name him Pete. He ended up being very tall and they gave him some sunglasses, a big nose made from a carrot and a hat. Rebecca then ran inside and got him a scarf. He was quite the picture. After a while, their hands got too cold, so they decided to head back inside and get warmed up. Rebecca's dad made them all a lovely hot chocolate with cream and marshmallows. Then they snuggled up on the sofa and watched Christmas films together while their lovely log fire glowed and kept them warm. Rebecca treasured days like this because she knew they didn't come around very often. She decided to take a photograph of her family that she would cherish forever. Now, let's go through some of the words from this story. We did put some advanced words in here to try and help you improve your vocabulary. So let's start with those first. To stumble. To stumble. To stumble means to step awkwardly while walking or running, or to fall or to begin to fall. Toddler. Toddler. A toddler is a young child, especially one who is starting or has recently learned to walk. Occurrence. Occurrence. An occurrence is something that happens. Apprehensive. To be apprehensive. To be apprehensive is to feel worried about something that you are going to do or that is going to happen. To intrigue. To intrigue. To intrigue is to interest someone a lot. Early bird. Or to be an early bird. If someone is an early bird, then they usually get up or arrive to places early or they do something before other people do. Now let's go through some intermediate English vocabulary. Bounce. To bounce. To bounce is to move up or away after hitting a surface. You can bounce balls. Comfort. Comfort. Comfort is a nice feeling of being relaxed and free from pain. Layer. Layer. A layer is a level of material. For example, layers of clothes. Rural. Rural. Rural is in, of, or like the countryside. Shed. Shed. A shed is a small building, usually made of wood, and it is used for storing things. Treasured. Treasured. If something is treasured, it is very valuable or important to you. Floating. Floating. If something is floating, it is not fixed in one position, place or level. Snowflakes float from the sky. Suddenly. Suddenly. If something happens suddenly, it happens quickly and unexpectedly. Tiny. Tiny. If something is tiny, it is very small. 
snuggle. To snuggle. To snuggle is to put yourself into a warm, comfortable, safe position. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs and stories on Etsy. You can find the link in the description box below. See you soon!